मृत्युर्जन्मताम वीर देहनो सह जायते अद्दो वब्द सताम तेवा मृत्युर्वि प्रणिना ध्रुव मृत्युर्जन्मताम वीर देहनो सह जायते अद्दो वब्द सताम तेवा मृत्युर्वि प्रणिना ध्रुव गौड़ीय गोष्ठीपति गौड़ीय गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद जगत गुरु परम टोल्ड दैट दैट एक्चुअल दीक्षा एक्चुअल इनिशिएशन और दैट द इन द वे इन द सो कॉल्ड दीक्षा इट इज नॉट ऑल द सेम गौड़ीय गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परम जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट एक्चुअल दीक्षा एंड सो कॉल्ड दीक्षा दैट सो कॉल्ड दीक्षा इट इज नॉट ऑल द सेम दैट दिव्य ज्ञान इन ऑर्डर टू गेट दैट दिव्य ज्ञान दैट इज द एक्चुअल प्रायोरिटी ऑफ दीक्षा एक्चुअल गोल ऑफ दीक्षा एंड दो those people who are in the way of taking gurudev and they are thinking that diksha already done and after that they are going away from there that they have no connection with me at all they actually these people for these jeevas i don't have what kind of connection relationship i have what i can do for them diksha means that when your diksha initiation is being done at the time of taking initiation and when you are going to take diksha before that that shri guru charan that kind of importance of vaishnav and glorification of vaishnav that kind of realization when you will get only after that diksha the actual after only that initiation or diksha the conception of that can come before that not at all possible guru pada ashray that guru pada ashray first and after that uh, diksha initiation is there that a lot of uh, procedure of initiation and paddhati is there regarding diksha that i just need to prove that and we just need to follow that as well in actual how to follow that kind of initiation process proper speaking that in order to cross the river that one boat is required that one boatman is also required to cross the river that who will be just uh, making sure that the boat is moving so that kind of person when you are taking that boatman that who is taking uh, gurudev in his life that uh, after that if some jeeva is actually accepting one gurudev in his life that actual gurudev uh, he uh, he will not accept in his life at all this kind of arrangement will not be done in order to just uh, go towards the other side of river you need a boatman as well as a boat as well this i have already discussed this is very much important to discuss this point in front of you all that vasudev ji maharaj asur kamso ka sam in front of that demon kansa this pravachan he is actually speaking in front of that demon kansa mitur janma batam biro dehun sahaj jar when the jeevas are getting born that with the birth of the jeevas that kind of death is also inevitable their uh, death is uh, also getting uh, born when, that according to their karma phal and sanskar when they have to go from this material world this definitely also already getting arranged with their birth just by the bhajan bal sometimes actual power of bhajan sometimes this uh, kind of uh, age factor it can get increased it is not a usual uh, usual thing it is extraordinary it is not at all uh, a normal thing sometimes it can get just by the power of uh, bhajan some uh, age can age factor can increase by achar nishta sadachar acharan etiquette just by following that that sometimes your age can increase it's not like that by bhajan that we just need to increase our age it's not like that this is a totally wrong conception regarding bhajan we should not ask uh, at this kind by bhajan only and only that sharnagadi onto lotus feet of bhagwan 
that actual uh, seva of Bhagwan, and after that, in the last, that kind of nitya seva of Bhagwan to serve Bhagwan, this kind of vichar should come inside our mind. Yesterday in Gita, I was actually discussing here in Shri Gita Rahasya that Bhagwan Vacha, there actually it came. This Bhagwan, Shri Krishna actually speaking this point, Bhagwan Vacha, Bhagwan speaking this. From here, actual Gita Pravachan is actually starting. From this shloka only, actual Gita, that Pravachan is actually starting, we can see that. That in this temporary material world, that body, there's all these jivas, it, he, they have just gone, came here for two days and definitely they have to leave their body and go away. And their uh, birth, birth, old age, death and uh, what kind of uh, results they will get. All these kind of six vikar, definitely it is natural in all the jivas. This body is made up of six kind of different reactions and vikar, it is connected with that. Whatever you can see in this material world, in this material world, everything is temporary and material in nature and nothing is permanent at all in this material world. Nitya only that Atma is Atma Vastu, Atma Vastu is uh, transcendental in nature. That Atma Vastu is Nitya transcendental and Atma cannot uh, get perished and there is no death of Atma, neither Atma is eternally present, no birth is there of Atma. All the time Atma is eternally present and is transcendental in nature. Definitely it will stay, there is no kind of uh, uh, destruction of Atma at all. No point of destruction you can speak. And Arjun, Thakurji Krishna speaking to Arjun now. He's just smile, very strange smile on his face. He's speaking to Arjun, Krishna. That uh, what Arjun wants to speak, that he's speaking very big, 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 big vichar. But all actually is Agyan, Avidya or a knowledge of ignorance. And Krishna actually speaking to Arjun that I am, you are speaking like a very big Pandit. And what objects which you don't need to uh, think of that at all, that that kind of uh, rethinking is not at all required for those objects and you are actually running for those things. That you are actually, this kind of rethinking uh, definitely is not at all required. All those Pandits not at all thinking like the, you are actually thinking at now. This, this definitely, which is definitely after birth and death will be there and it is going on cyclic order, birth and death. Shankaracharya ji, very nice, very famous uh, shlok, you already know that. After birth and there is death and the after death there is birth. So this is all going in cyclic order. And uh, according to our karma, uh, our fruitive activities, we will get the result out of that. It will go on. So this kind of uh, stool, subtle body of ours, of made of five elements, made of Khipiya Potej Marudvam, these five elements, by these five elements our body is actually is, uh, made up and after that there is one fine body also inside that. Mind, intelligence, false ego is there inside us. That is called a fine body and uh, that is also called the Karan Sharir, the actual cause, the cause of uh, our, that, that same uh, Karan body is the actual cause by which that from one uh, uh, body to another we have to transgress. So that is why this name is called Karan Sharir. Karan Sharir that you can speak the Antarkaran inside fine body. 
which is there inside your subtle bo- form, body. That in Gita, uh, Bhakti Mnur Thakur speaking very nicely in his commentary, very nicely speaking in the form of Kirtan. Bhakti Mnur Thakur actually writing this Kirtan. Very nice Kirtan Bhakti Mothakura. Nobody is actually doing. Everybody is busy in Maya. <laughs> what to do? Everyone is busy. Bhakti Mothakura in Kirtan, everything he is uh, giving detailed discussion here. That full name already not had come here. That even the smell of uh, uh, pure name is not at all coming. So that we can get some rasa in Harina. Ugratap means that Rajosato and Tamagon, this kind of Ugratap, all clash which is giving to us, this material nature it's giving to us. Anayas means that very easily your fine body can just get destroyed. Very easily. That ling sharif, that rapture of this ling sharif, ling body, that fine body, if it is there up till that point, then no kind of solution can come at all. In bhajan, the actual goal of bhajan is that, that the nature, the actual effect of nature, and we just need to go out of the reactions and effects of the maya, that what I have already told you that day. That actual by actual Guru Seva only by actual Sad Guru Seva automatically it will come. You don't need to think of that at all. And some people are also thinking that Maharaj, I have already just got my victory over Maya, so I am also Siddh. That minimum, this is a minimum criteria, eligibility criteria to just get victory over Maya. But the actual thing is that that after getting victory over Maya, only that by the kripa of pure Guru Vaishnav under their Anugatya, that Hari Bhajan, that starting of Hari Bhajan can start at all. It is very much strange to hear that even if you get victory over Maya, you are a very big Hanuman. You are thinking. It's not like that. It's a minimum eligibility criteria that just to get victory over Maya, this is very minimum most criteria. After that only, the starting of Hari Bhajan, whether to do or not to do or how to do under the Anugatya of pure Guru Vaishnav, that we just need to think of that. Just by the Kripa of pure Guru Vaishnav, that our Bhajan can go ahead. That the starting of Bhajan will go like that. After that only. Bhaktivinoda Thakur actually is speaking this point. That in Nama Bhas, you can get Mukti. That what uh, Bhaktivinoda Thakur has already told. It means that now by doing Namabhas, everything is done. By doing Namabhas, you can get Mukti. Mukti means that this uh, Prakriti, by you can get uh, out of the three miseries of this material nature very easily. Mukti also have very deep uh, vichar. But according to Gaudiya vichar, Mukti means that Jeevas, their actual Swarup, they are actually getting uh, supratishtis in that. They are getting established in their uh, natural Swarup, spiritual Swarup, Atma Swarup. And here what actually written? And Mukti, there are different, different kind of which are there. That is very much difficult to get. But according to Gaudi Vajar, this is the actual meaning of Mukti. Inside your heart, that constituent of your innermost chit, that constituent Antarkaran, there is one time that uh, your fine body, that your fine body is called uh, uh, 
uh, antrakaran, your uh, internal body. It is all the same, but according to different kind of functions, different different names are actually getting uh, cons- uh, categorized. Mand buddhi chit anankar, mind, body, false ego, and intelligence. That is all four names. It is getting uh, uh, categorized uh, inside our same uh, uh, internal body, uh, fine body. Different different names. Uh, it is getting uh, titled and categorized like that. That by man chit, it is actually compared with. Uh, one kind of uh, Mahaprabhu already told this that very still water uh, in the in the in the lagoon or in the river you can see and our mind our chit if if, if we can see if our, our uh, chit is material if we cannot see our heart but still we can realize that it is material in nature that heart has so much effect that jivas for infinity uh, for infinity period it is all the jivas are actually getting in bonded condition for infinity period that of our mind if if we can see something by our mind then a mind is actually realizing that and that kind of which are inter- some kind of which are shakti we are getting and that kind of decision making is going on inside our mind and our buddhi buddhi mind is the director he is actually taking the uh, decision that our heart is uh, to do or not to do that is sankalp and vikalp is going on that is the actual work of heart is this only to do sankalp or vikalp to do or not to do this kind of uh, uh, altercation is going on and if any situation object or person he is just taking that and going away mind can never go vacant that psychiatrist speaking that mind can never go vacant at all mind you cannot make it empty but mind can get replaced that whatever the things are coming in your mind you just need to put new things if you have that kind of power and uh, eligibility then only it can be done that your the actual role of heart is to do or not to do this kind of sankalp and vikalp and the mind is the actual director whether to what kind of decision they will take of the, what to do or not to do what to do and what not to do this kind of uh, mind is the director that uh, mind it is actually the director so he will be constituting to take the decision Satimati and Asatimati, our heart, Sankalp and Vikalp, decision not to do, it's just like a prostitute, it's doing. And this kind of mind, that director, he, whatever kind of Sankalp and Vikalp my heart is doing, in this he is making the decision making out of that, our mind. Man and Buddhi. Chit, what is that? That what we are actually seeing, that just like camera, is some attractive object we are seeing okay we are getting attracted to that automatically we are taking that picture and that same particular picture all the time it is going inside our very beautiful woman we are seeing and all the time it is going inside our heart that kind of uh, uh, portrait of that beautiful woman so the actual work of chit Mahaprabhu already told the work of the chit and on this darpan if some dust particles and uh, clay and some kind of uh, Vajra lip, like Thunder lip, Vishnu uh, Chakravarti are already speaking this. That in the way of Bhajan, the first thing is that you just need to remove all kind of dirty po- dust, dust particles and dirty things from your heart. That Dhuli lip, if some dust is there, that automatically it can very easily go. If some uh, uh, clay is there, then definitely you just need to put more effort to uh, get that uh, dirtiness out of. And if the Vajra lip is there, then it is very, very difficult. Very, very difficult to... If Vajra lip is there, then Prabhupada used to speak that for, you just need to give the dynamite of Harikatha. You just need to blow that away explosively by the dynamite. Into, just to break that into pieces. Only that the Vajra lip can go away. That inside bonded jivas, that kind of Harikatha, in order to get inside the heart of bonded jivas, it is very impossible. You just need to charge it with dynamite so that it can just break away that Vajra lip completely. So like that, Prabhupada used to speak 
and Vishnu Chakravarti Pad also speaking this lot of vichar he is speaking in front of us and here that our chit it is just like camera what we are actually seeing whether good or bad he is just taking the picture of that and just after that it is just all the time just thinking of that only that picture only that mind chit heart and ahankar this false ego this is also material that all the four things are material in nature and ahankar if it false ego is not at all there then relationship uh, all all material relatives relationship that all what we are feeling they are all actually material in nature so this false ego if false ego is not at all there then i am the doer this kind of desire is not at all then who is of whom so this kind of thing about this that he is my uh, he is my father he is my grandfather he is my grandmother he is my brother he is my wife he is my child he is my wife like this all this kind of identification we are giving if false ego is not at all there then this kind of conception won't arise at all that uh, what kind of identification i have with this uh, material uh, evaluation of this property name fame position it is just because of false ego only it is actually getting arised if false ego is not at all there then who will do actual sansar that shuddha bhaktas uh, sansar is totally different but for bonded jivas their sansar the actual bondage is this false ego only that kind of doership this is one kind of marriage that uh, one deer is actually running towards water so that's why this is the case you just need to understand so if it is not at all there false ego then it is one kind of uh, binding force i have already t- speaking in bathinda long time ago that you tell me what kind of bondage is there that uh, there is no kind of rope no kind of chain it is actually entangled but still again you just need to get uh, uh, onto the same position what is what is this kind of bondage what kind of bondage is that no kind of ropes no chain are actually entangled in your uh, uh, neck and no one has locked you but still that uh, just going around and around the clock you are going on to the same position what is this kind of bondage so this is actually the role of maya devi what to speak this is all the game of maya devi that maya devi in just playing mood with bonded jeevas she, she is actually playing with all the bonded jeevas just like toys she is actually just making enjoyment just like toys but in actually if you can think that uh, with atma that with prakriti has no connection at all <coughs> that atma what you are speaking that is also called purush because purush akar is there that's why it is purush but actual actual by actual vichar that with atma that prakriti has no relationship with that at all that man mahaprabhu also speaking uh, this is jada prakriti that ajagalasthan jada prakriti ajagalasthan it means the prakriti is jada prakriti there is no life in this uh, material prakriti but from infinity time that prakriti and purush with the uh, both they are actually getting uh, exchanged with them so by this that one kind of effect is actually you can feel it on other and and they just lost their actual vichar the actual natural vichar inside purush that the actual effect of uh, prakriti is there on purush and he is thinking that i am the enjoyer and prakriti slowly steadily having effect on the purush slowly steadily she is also prakriti also slowly steadily she is actually has just made the condition as if prakriti is uh, dominating the purush and prakriti has uh, effect on uh, purush so this sankhya yoga is a very very imp- uh, in depth which are is there in sankhya yoga when this kind of subtle form of our body is not at all getting destroyed up till that point no kind of uh, solution to our problem uh, regarding atma tattva can come at all and arjun if he is a real pandit actual pandit then how he can speak like that that lot of uh, things he is speaking and after that the previously he is speaking like lot of things arjun is speaking like that before that uh, all kind of material uh, uh, varna shankar can come then lot of things he has actually speaking in front of krishna at that time but 
that minimum thing he is not at all uh, knowing that now krishna bhagwan actually laughing are you are actually big big vichar you are speaking but minimum uh, thing you don't know about atma tattva <laughs> minimum thing that atma object cannot get destroyed at all that atma object is nitya is permanent sad and asad this vichar this is not at all uh, one uh, foul language i am using sad and asad this vichar the actual thing is that that sat means that which is all the time transcendently present which has no bondage of time factor material time factor which is out of the bondage of time material time factor that is actually sat vastu it remains means that all the time which is out of material time factor bondage maybe today it is there or tomorrow is not it's not like that so which is all the time transcendently present that is called sat that atma is sad vastu atma vastu is sad vastu but that at, out of atma vastu whatever you can see that is all anitya in nature it is all uh, temporary this is all asat vastu asad vastu and arjun is speaking lot of things now and again he is actually speaking lot of big big things he is actually speaking in front of krishna but bhagwan with very smiling face is speaking that you see that you don't have minimum uh, thing you don't know about atma tattva that some pandit is there that uh, that uh, this kind of feeling is not there with him that atma vastu is uh, transcendental and this body is uh, anitya this bhavana is not at all there in them what kind of pandit he is if he don't know about this body and the atma tattva who is that pandit that uh, he is don't understand this atma tattva and body tattva so this sad and asad which are in that this the actual conclusion is that that the, that object which all the time is transcendently present that is actually sad vastu and which is not at all nitya like uh, happiness and happiness respect disrespect all this are relative in nature they are all temporary and uh, all these uh, that pitama bhishma or maybe you can see the case of dronacharya whosoever he, uh, is there this inside them their atma what is there that is actually will not at all get demolished because atma tattva cannot get degraded at all okay body can get degraded maybe today or tomorrow definitely we have to leave this body subtle body that is subtle body maybe today or tomorrow definitely we have to leave that no if someone actually doing murder and i am just laughing <laughs> that's a, if you have murdered him that you have just uh, murdered him that definitely he just need to go away maybe today or tomorrow he need to leave his body so he is thinking that uh, i am i will enjoy all the time i will be just enjoying so i will be just killing him so after just killing then again he just need to your maybe the death is coming on to the other time So definitely death definitely will have to come of this subtle body in this material world that kind that there is no solution of death at all that definitely you need to go from this uh, material world that shared of which kind of vikars if six kind of different reactions birth death old age disease after that that with the maturity nourishment degradation all these six kind of different reactions relating to your subtle body this all kind of six different kind of reactions related to the subtle body this is all done by prakriti these are the effects of prakriti on the purush that is actual natural uh, symptom of prakriti that in order to get uh, away from it nobody can go away from all this everyone has to face that moha means that agyan avidya moha means avidya only so this avidya in this hair that actual uh, with actual uh, from here actual uh, gita pravachan is going to start from this point it doesn't mean that uh, whatever we have just uh, spoke spoken previously it's all useless no it's not like that that there is no background of gita at all 
and the second adhyay also the actual uh, conclusive uh, object of gita it actually being described what actually is there in full gita it's already been described there all upadesh in a very uh, conclusive uh, uh, form it's written in the second adhyay second adhyay of uh, gita so here shri bhagwan vacha here here actually it is written that uh, which is out of our uh, material mind and bo- material mind that krishna wants to speak that the actual pandit is that he is not at all uh, getting entangled in all these uh, uh, anitya uh, objects that this kind of thinking that uh, so much uh, fearfulness so much fear and restlessness is coming it is all because of avidya why because if someone is going from this material world and he is taking birth again then for this pandit not at all actually thinking of that at all they are not at all taking information out of that because they are thinking that it is all relative in nature all anitya so by this krishna slowly steadily he is actually just started speaking and giving the whole gita pravachan uh, he started very slowly in front of arjun arjun inside his heart still that kind of fear fear fearless fear fear mood is there that uh, arjun is having full bravery mood how much kind of uh, wars he have just participated and uh, no kind of fear has come inside his heart never fear has touched his heart but now the actual condition is like that in his life that inside the heart of arjun there is hrite dorbalya weakness of heart is there so much weak heart is there so much kind of uh, fear uh, is there that even his own gandiv he is not at all capable to pick it pick it up that his whole body is actually shaking and on his tongue his tongue is getting dried up his mouth is getting dried his tongue is getting dried and his body is getting uh, jealous a uh, full burning sensation is coming in his body and bhagwan shri krishna speaking that it all because of avidya or nothing else because you see arjun who actually wants to live you tell me someone can live up till what point ya tu na sam na tvam ime janati pa na chaivo na bhavishvamaha sarve vayamatah param main agar atma vastu if uh, uh, this me as an atma vastu that i was not there before and now today i have taken but it's not like that par krishna actually speaking that i am parmatma that i am parmatma inside heart of everyone so i was not today previously now today i just came and maybe today you are there or pitama bhishma is there whosoever is there that he was not there before and now he has just came today only and they will just go away it's not like that it's all relative conception that parmatma and jivatma both are actually transcendental in nature mayavadis which are they are having different conception that uh, that kind of uh, prabhav of prakriti this creation birth and that whatever we are seeing it is just that vaishnav darshan means that actual darshan in that no kind of logics can uh, stand or ro- wrong apprehensions cannot stand according to vaishnav darshan this uh, nitya transcendental vastu that nitya transcendental object and nitya transcendental bhav that in this prakriti all we can see all this sansar this material world mayavadi speaking there this material world is not at all there at all foolish number one they are speaking this material world is not at all there it's just one kind of dream they are think speaking only one object is there that is brahma object brahma tattva brahman brahma vastu is there and apart from brahma vastu nothing is there at all that 
Only Brahm Vastu is there and other apart from nothing is there. So whatever you can see, it is not at all there. It's just one kind of dream they are speaking. So this uh, Brahm, this actual uh, Vikar, Are Brahm, how it can get Vikar? How it can get uh, a change? That Brahm Vastu is actually near Vikar. It's formless they are speaking. How much, how it is possible it can get uh, a vikar, it will uh, get uh, transformed into some kind of form. Like the case they are speaking an example, that uh, in, in one rope you are thinking that as snake, you are having a wrong conception. You are having this misconception of having a snake, uh, of a rope in uh, as snake, you are thinking like that. In the, in the rope, you are having a misconception or brahm of snake that uh, uh, rope is actually in the night time you just get up and you are going uh, up front and immediately you see a rope hanging and you just uh, become very fearful after seeing and you are thinking that it is snake but it is not at all. You just see it very carefully. It is not at all snake. It is just one rope. So this kind of so shadow is there that it looks like that it is snake but it is not like that this is the actual vichar of mayabadi that this material world is not at all there so this is all misconception this is the actual vichar of mahaprabhu mahaprabhu speaking how not at all possible that um, this material sansar is anitya temporary that all these uh, things of this material sansar we can see that he is there relatives are there these are all actually ghost you are thinking all shadow no not at what is this all foolish conception everything we can see you are eating you are going Santu Goswami Maharaj actually speaking in Man Sabha I think so in Bhela I am not remembering that which place it was Santu Goswami Maharaj one Mayavadi he is actually he has got one Nimantran and speaking lot of vichar and everything this is my sons this world is not at all there only that Brahm Vastu is there and nothing apart from that is the Santu Goswami Maharaj just very quietly hearing him and when his pravachan got over so called pravachan then Santu Goswami Maharaj started speaking Harikatha and now he started speaking Harikatha and after that while speaking Harikatha Santu Goswami Maharaj just by taking his stick in his hand Sanyas Dandi he just wanted to beat him with that Are why you are uh, beating him Santu Goswami why I am not at all uh, beating you why you get fear and this is Adhyagyan object how you are getting fear inside you from where this uh, dand, uh, this dand is here, uh, from where the conception of beating will come so you are actually becoming very much worried and afraid by that so how it can be possible you are actually speaking lie to me that this Brahma Vastu that Adhyagyan Tattva it doesn't mean that it will get a uh, fearful mood inside that that Brahma Vastu that is all one the same but that in Brahma Vastu there is no diversity is there how it is possible you are speaking that uh, you, you are speaking that one Brahma one, one Brahma object other no thing, thing is there is no diversity is there apart from Brahma that no, from where you have come that from where I have come from there this dand has come and from where this kind of fearful mood has come why you have become fearful you are speaking all lie it means that the actual vichar of mayavadis is that that adde gyan tat vastu in that if some other kind of conception or object that shakti that is, we will accept that then that our adde gyan tat that vichar it will get harmed they, that's why they are not realized. But they are actually speaking Adde at the time of speaking. Adde Gyan Tattva. That Shakti, some kind of thing is having a Brahm by just accepting that. This, their Vichar is that, that inside that Adde Gyan Tattva, that Vichar, it will get harmed. That Vichar won't get uh, completion at all. But Vedan Sutra, definitely, uh, clearly it is written there in Vedan Sutra. Shakti and Shaktiman are actually non different from each other. This uh, are one but uh, becoming two, but they are, st- are two, but still they are one. Uh, by Achinta Veda Tattva, according to that, this Gaudiya Vichar, very in depth Vichar is there of this Gaudiya Vichar by uh, Achinta Veda Tattva, what Mahaprabhu has given this Vichar to us. Mahaprabhu has given this kind of instruction to us that in this material world, if 
in kashi varanasi he is actually giving yukti if this in material world even one's uh, touchstone of this material world can just touch the steel then it can convert that steel uh, into gold and uh, we and if we have some kind of uh, no kind if this touchstone is there without uh, changing its characteristics that touchstone is not at all getting uh, uh, changed its characteristic but it has its power to just uh, change that steel into ch- touchstone that it will uh, change that steel into gold so mahaprabhu speaking that in this material world or in this material world also you can see this kind of example that so much uh, nice uh, arrangement and examples are there that uh, everything this whole material world made of krishna so much examples are there that krishna that adhyagyan tatva is so much weak that they, he is no he is without any shakti <laughs> mayavadi is that brahma vastu that is nishakti it is without any shakti they are not at all thinking that shakti tatva is there they just by thinking that shakti tatva is not there then there can't be any harm to adhyagyan tatva at all just it is one and he has becoming two and again it is two but still it is one by achinta bheda ve tatva it is getting totally destroyed that adhyagyan tatva and you are actually speaking wrong totally wrong that you are actually thinking adhyagyan tatva but you are not at all thinking that shakti tatva at all and there you are thinking that adhyagyan tatva will get harmed if in this material world one touch stone can just convert into gold then brahmastu is so much weak that uh, that he cannot uh, he cannot uh, transform himself you are thinking like that that uh, touchstone is not at all getting uh, uh, transformed himself so you are thinking that brahmastu is so much weak that it will get transformed are how brahm can get transformed about this in brahm samhita already it is being told niskalam anantam ashish bhutam ऑल्सो that is ananta vastu in infinity in nature and this mayavadi people are actually speaking it like this way and here that arjun the vichar of arjun what it we can see here this is totally wrong that our body getting birth that kind of existence of a body that kind of uh, nourishment and maturity and kind of uh, result and uh, destruction all these kind of six main major factors and effects by that which is given by prakriti it is getting uh, um, e- getting the effect our body is getting that reaction from prakriti but atma is without any reaction at all atma is actually free from all these reactions when prakriti and purush for infinity time just by uh, staying uh, one from infinity time that the bhav of uh, the bhav of purush the actually effect of purush you can see that uh, f- feeling the effect on prakriti and that prakriti you are thinking that it is chetan vastu if purush is not there then no work of prakriti is there at all what prakriti can do in that and purush means that his enjoying mood that is called purusharth or purush you are actually speaking this purush there is one kind of fault that for infinity time that kind of enjoying uh, mood is there inside him that just by seeing prakriti that kind of enjoying mood is coming no one inside and whether uh, girl boy woman woman they if some atma vastu is there then definitely his name is getting some title that is called atma vastu and whether he is male female whosoever he is 
that it is all made of prakriti five elements it is made of five elements of nature prakriti that if that prakriti that five elements what we can see that with five elements only it is made that khiti apotej marudbam made of five elements and just by taking this material body that uh, it's already coming in their false ego that i am this woman and uh, in in his false ego it is coming that i am a man so the both of them are feeling attraction towards each other so purush also this is also prakriti that this female also body you can see this is also prakriti that purush actually enjoying prakriti that's it and woman thinking that i will be enjoying man so this uh, purush body that male body he is getting i will be just uh, uh, enjoying that made of five elements so purush is actually enjoying prakriti if actual uh, vichar is coming perfect vichar that atma vastu how they can enjoy themselves with each other that atma vastu that chetan vastu inside them that uh, that uh, two bodies are uh, getting murdered or getting killed where male and female and that atma vastu is getting out of that that atma and what is the actual identification when the atma is going out of both the bodies you tell me their body actually is that ling sharir that fine body is gone away but when actually is going away from the subtle body it is actually atma tattva gunak alag bad by this which are actually that purush and prakriti that for infinity period just by staying that that one uh, effect you can see uh in the other and it's a very it is all uh, opposite to see that whole material world actually wants to enjoy other you just enjoy this enjoy are what you will enjoy you tell me what you can enjoy in this material world you tell me just sleep eat and drink this is the actual formula of the today's world modern world civilized world so called civilized world now bhagwan shri krishna actually speaking you see no tu eva ham jatu nasam no tvam neme jano jiva jana jiva no chaivo no bhavishvamah sarve vayamatah param aham je parmatma that me as parmatma it was not at all there before and now i have come it's not like that and arjun what you narad baha that uh, all those narpati gans you are seeing that maybe it was not at all this time was not at all like that before that they were that all those narpati gans were not there at all previously it's not like that and they again they will not stay now at present that atma and parmatma that on that you just need to put concentration more that atma vastu is nitya in nature and your vichar that it is towards all relative anitya objects that pandit the actual meaning of pandit is that yesterday i have already told that what bhagwan shri krishna speaking is speaking to uddhav ji regarding this that pandit that he is not at all he is seeing bondage and liberation he knows what is their bondage is there what is liberation that is why he is pond, uh, his pandit he know the actual uh, difference that if he is getting into bondage then what kind of pandit he is he is actually bonga pandit he is just a false pandit nitto nityanam chetunas chetunam ek bahu naam jo vidhati kama nitadi jante ho shlok you know all the this shlok already 5 to 7 days i have already discussed this shlok 5 to 7 days before so like this if we can uh, configure then that inside our body that karan body is there in that uh, karan body it is actually speak spoken like that why because from one uh, from one unit to another we are getting transformed we are getting into that cycle of birth and that all the time this only that karan body is responsible for that the actual conclusion is that that sarveshwar parmatma just like that that all the jivas that all the uh, past present and future of all the jivas definitely it is there that all the jivas having that kind of trikalik truth that mayavadis which are is that that brahma vastu atma vastu that what he is speaking that brahma vastu that is all the same atma vastu also their vichar is that 
one Atmavad means that one Brahma Vastu, one Brahma object, that infinity, uh, infinity, infinity reflections, it is all misconception. They are speaking there is no sansar at all, there is no material world. The how actually this uh, this Mayavadi Vichar is there, that no material world is there, it's just like dream. X vision, Y vision, their Vichar is like that. They are actually this handsome, all actually are Mayavadi actually. The Anand, Anandwale, Hansawale, all and all from Devi, from Devi one, from X Y mission, all are actually Maya, Mayavadi. Their vichar is like that. What to do? That in the sky there is sun, and sun God is there in the sky. And here there is one uh, one pot of uh, water is there. Maybe 1500 pots of uh, water actually is uh, given. It's their which are not my which are. I'm actually speaking so that if some Mayavadi actually is getting uh, that be careful that you don't have this kind of courage that you can just uh, speak and oh Maharaj everything going on. We can sleep, eat, drink with Mayavadi. We cannot adjust with them. Definitely we have to adjust. Foolish number one. Are, what do you mean by adjust? You tell me first. If actually one foolish person who is Udhami, number one, and he is just doing all rubbish work, of the, and he is just destroying the society, are, everything going on. Are, Mara, let it go. Adjustment is required. What kind of adjustment do you want? That up till now, what actually has been spoken to you? You tell me. That, that Mayavadi, I already know what he has spoken. That, oh Prabhuji, that all the time I can do the work alone only. Definitely I have to do it with some because you are the actually manager of the factory, no? You become a devotee, then definitely this much power will come inside your all kind of seva. You can alone only. No person is required for you. Foolish no are Mara, let it go. All adjusting mood, all which are of Mayavadi what to do. That in pure bhakti it is not like that at all. Maharaj, this adjustment I can't do. How what kind of adjustment you want? No. Prabhupada, what actually spoke, speaking here, that in this two days life, that you want to, that with the, all others, you want to adjust with them, what do you mean? I definitely want to speak it tomorrow. All actually false. Kapat. Adjustment doesn't mean that Bhakti Pramod Puri Goswami Maharaj is actually doing all kind of rubbish things like you. Are he can't adjust what to do. Foolish number one. Mayavadi. They are speaking all rubbish, that's it. No conception, no mind is there. What to do? That Mayavadi Vichar is that, that this Anand, what Anand? That Vivek Anand. <laughs> that Krishna knows which Anand. A Vivek, not Vivek. That his Hansa, Devi, everything, all Vichar is one. What Vichar is there? That, that thousand and thousand pots if you are putting in uh, front of uh, that sun god that what is happening then from one uh, each and every pot you see what we can see that you can see that same uh, pra, sun is uh, so like this different different kind of reflection of the sun is actually there in different pots oh so very nice which are <laughs> you just throw Gita and Bhagavad and you just take and accept their which are foolish which are so they are also actually publishing Gita. Are even you don't have any time to just touch Gita also. That you don't have the eligibility to touch Gita also, Mayavad is. How they can touch it, you tell me. How they can show that there is Mayavad? You just show me where it is Mayavad. You just show me there. That two or four sloks they are choosing and they are actually just putting that. You see, this is Mayavad. No kind of uh, strength is there that they can just establish Mayavad at all. That we are actually foolish that that's why I am actually just uh, manifesting it in front of you. And someone can establish that. All the all actually are there busy in politics. That's it. Nobody have time apart from politics. So different different kind of pots that Pratibimb of the sun you can get see just by showing that what they want to speak is that in this material world that Brahm Vastu is only one Atmavad. That one Atmavad means that only one Atma is one only and that Brahm Vastu is just getting uh, in different different ways is getting expressing in front of 
as how it is actually one reflection of that same brahm you tell me you me every each individual is different having different identity that everything no material world is there oh, so nice so nice which are eh? foolish number 1 just want to speak this this is the actual vichar of mayavadi what to do and uh, this arjun he has just uh, he cannot remember that he actually forgot everything he can't remember the actual thing that whatever kind of nitya object that atma vastu that all atma is different kind of atma in this atma the actual uh, mool of that all the atmas that means that nityanam that whatever kind of atmas different different chetan vastu objects which we can see the actual uh, mool chetan vastu object of that all the atmas that is double confirmation it is the nitya nityanam that is already transcendental and chetas chetana nam it is written that whatever kind of uh, chetan uh, other objects are there that is the root cause of all what is that absolute truth sachidanand vigrah nandanandan shri krishna that's it and he actually thakur ji kare and krishna speaking that that all these uh, chetan objects from where it has come from where it has come what is their origin there is only one point only one point that uh, bhagwan let me from only me actually everything is coming from me only every jeevatma is coming and mayavadis which are the mamayev means that krishna speaking mamayam means me mamayam means what you tell me there is also foolish persons like this that they are thinking mamayam means mean that bhagwan he is actually ansh of bhagwan <laughs> ansh what do you mean by ansh you tell me no actually no one hearing hari katha what to do where actually they are hearing hari katha you tell me who actually has heard actual hari katha tell me if they are actually hearing still they are actually foolish number one they are actually having that foolishness still now what to do all actually kapat all drama they are making one stage one drama that's it are first you yourself understand after that only you can tell others you are actually big pandit just to do keep on others here the actual vichar is that each and every if someone actually asks that maharaj act he is actually ansh of bhagwan bhagwan ansh means that bhagwan ansh means are bhagwan ansh what do you mean by that you tell me that you are actually cutting bhagwan into a different different pieces ha huh? bhagwan is getting separated in different different pieces that's it you are thinking like that that bhagwan you are actually cutting into different pieces basic conception is not at all there of gaudiya darshan what to speak that bhagwan even one uh, dust particle also that is also complete that from the each and every part of bhagwan that is also bhagwan himself is complete in himself that they don't know that bhagwat what is the actual vichar of bhagwat was today what they can do the vichar you tell me that whatever kind of ansh of bhagwan even one uh, Uh, finger of bhagwan is also complete everything is complete for bhagwan so how it is possible that all kind of jeevatmas they are actually all complete so how you can just make the explanation you tell me that i have already heard this that you will definitely learn this only from mayavadi guru what to do because you are mayavadi and your guru is also mayavadi and your situation is mayavadi what to do you go on doing that whole life for infinity period that sari katha kirtan you are doing no kind of uh, salvation you can get what kind of value of that kind of hari katha is there where they you are not at all getting your consciousness upgraded that no vairagya is getting uh, ins- installed inside your heart and no pure guru vishnu of seva or anugati you don't want to do the so what kind of seva you are doing what kind of association what you are doing this is all a satsang what you are doing you are actually just taking in the name of satsang in the banner that you are doing satsang are i am doing satsang. that you do satsang yourself you show me that first you do satsang yourself you do the glorification of satsang first inevitably you have just need to show me to kaha 
the where it is that you just making one banner of satsang and you are just making a satsang are you also can speak okay, you can also speak like that you are making here goswami pad also strictly speaking prohibiting prohibiting that for them that uh, jeev goswami pad speaking for them vyasa is not at all available for them at all jeev goswami pad speaking that they are all kapat the vyasa san vyasa san is not for them that only for name fame position they are actually doing pravachan that's it for that for their own mangal they don't want and other mangal they don't also want so they are actually becoming big sadhu you see mahavayamsa means it doesn't mean that you are just cutting krishna into small pieces and you are making uh, you becoming hans it means that bhagwan that shakti of bhagwan that in shakti chit shakti jeev shakti and maya shakti it's there and jeev shakti that bhagwan jeev shakti that about jeev tatva lot of uh, in gita also i have just discussed it a lot that infinity proofs i can give from vedan sutra also this conception is there in vedan the what actually it's written that shakti and shaktiman they are non different from each other by achinta veda ved tatva that by that siddhant only that what is shakti that is shaktiman that what is shaktiman that is shakti in that adya gyan tatva that there is no kind of destruction of adya gyan tatva at all adya adya gyan tatva there is no kind of destruction at all in that but still there is one advantage in that that uh, now the siddhant is actually coming that the bhagavad shakti that is the actual ansh of that shakti that the jeev shakti of bhagwan that uh, it is infinity full of uh, strength and power and from there infinity jeevas can come but there still no deficiency is there in czechoslovakia that madan gopal one devotee is there yeah, first i already have just taken from airport just by the consent of tirth go swami maharaj everyone first now actually they are all the time i am nothing at all in front of them tirth go swami was so much merciful uh, seva he has given to me that maharaj that half uh, way you just need to mold him just by speaking hari kata to him and he is getting half mold and then i am just giving it on to lotus feet of tirth go swami maharaj after that so much uh, merciful tirth go swami maharaj that all those pure guru vaishnava i am got the association of them if i haven't got the association then what kind of treasure what kind of condition i must be there if i haven't got their association i can't speak at all so whatever be the case now this this uh, he actually put one question in calcutta mart in chatanya gode mart actually i was sitting there lot of uh, book work book work i was used to do there in from calcutta press in calcutta i used to do and at that time he actually questioned me that uh, jeevatma is actually getting new new production that jeevatma is getting new new production how actually it is written that i was speaking how it is possible how you are actually putting that from new new jeevas are actually getting produced no jeevas are all nitya jeeva all jeevas are eternal in nature from where this question has come you tell me when finite conception is coming then only this question is coming no that the deficiency of jeevas that devas uh, that production will be less or high this is actually limited conception is yours that finite conception that's why you are actually putting question otherwise you should not put this kind of question why because jeevas are infinity jeevas are from infinity period are infinite infinite means that unending they are countless you cannot count at all you they nobody is actually understand everything is going on finite conception that's it so so it means that uh, whatever the chit shakti of bhagwan that even the sh- ansh shakti ansh of that bhagwan that jeev shakti that no not total i am speaking it's just the ansh that the actual total uh, complete siddhant but if someone can understand then only i can uh, prove that no if you do have the efficiency to understand then how i can give the understanding to them you tell me what they are actually understanding they that they are thinking that that is okay so their conception is that okay limited so like this now the actual vichar is coming is that that arjun this uh, vichar of arjun is totally wrong why the actual uh, pur- purport is that that sarveshwar parmatma like that sarveshwar parmatma 
Just like Paramatma, in the form of Paramatma, who is actually there inside our heart, you tell me. That Maharaj is that Kiro Dakshai Mahavishnu is there inside our heart as Paramatma. Paramatma in the form of Paramatma, each and every Jeevatma is there in the form of Paramatma. Mahavishnu, and he is sitting there and he is becoming one kind of uh, witness there inside our heart who actually is doing what like this the, if you can make this vichar that you see this Paramatma Parameshwar Paratpara Kileshwar Paramatma in the form of Paramatma is all the, all the time there in the Jeevas heart of Jeevas and Jeev Samuhu that whatever kind of Jeevatma, they are also having Trikalik Satya. That past, present and future, that in the background of that past, present and future, they are not at all Niradhar at all. They have some source, they have some origin with the background of past, present and future. They are actually eternal in nature. Definitely they are eternal. They are eternal in nature. That's why they are eternal. If Jeev Samu is actually eternal, then uh, Atma Vishayak in some object that kind of uh, uh, distress should not come and sorrow should not come in those Vishayas at all. So like this, slowly, steadily, if you make this Vichar, then you can see, you can notice that Atma Vastu or Mayavadi, what they are doing, Neti Neti Na Eti Na Eti. This is not at all Atma Vastu, this is not Atma Vastu. Like this, they are speaking, even they are actually cutting Bhagwan and throwing it away also. This is also, they are thinking that the body of Krishna is actually material. Tirtha Goswami Maharaj with very nice story, I actually remember. I have also heard it from Guru Varga. Tirtha Goswami Maharaj used to speak in Gaudiya Mat that uh, big Madhwadi used to come, very rich Madhwadi. And with very uh, Tranadipi move in the morning time, he used to do Parikrama of the Mandir temple. And all the time after doing the temple Parikrama, he used to pay Dandwat. And uh, then he, after that, he used to start his business. And uh, every day, while paying Dandwat, every day he used to come and I'm doing Darshan. And what kind of bhav he is having? That Vishwana Chakravarti Path actually speaking up till this point, that even Sadhu Sangh they have done for 20 years. They have done association of Sadhu for 20 years, but still that kind of Guru Graha, this kind of vichar is not at all there inside his heart. Vishwana Chakravarti saying that he hasn't done kind of uh, satsang at all. He is doing a satsang, not satsang at all. This is just one kind of uh, so-called satsang. The how it's possible, that is actual. They haven't done satsang at all. This is not at all a satsang. The actual symptom of satsang is that that uh, when you are getting the satsang, automatically this vichar is coming inside your heart that what my life is, that definitely I have to take the lotus feet of Gurudev. If I will take the, if there is no vichar of taking the ashray of your Gurudev, that this vichar is not at all getting inside your heart, you are not at all feeling it, that definitely I have to take Guru, gu, gu, lotus feet of Guru, then definitely satsang is not at all possible for that particular Jeevatma. Satsang, that uh, only reason, uh, only proof is that, then definitely inside his heart that Divya Gyan will come, definitely. He is actually coming every day there in the Mutt temple and all the Brahmacharis, he used to, lot of Dandwat he used to pay that you are actually topmost. You have just left everything and you see you are getting topmost uh, Kripa of your Guru work. Like this he used to speak in front of them every day. And uh, he used to speak, Are Maharaj, no, you are not a no, I am actually foolish number one, I am nothing. I am actually with full uh, uh, Tranadapi Bhav he used to express. One time Brahma, Brahmachari he used to give one kind of instruction to him and speaking. He used to speak what Maharaj I am, you are becoming big Tyagi, how you have just left everything and you are just staying in mud and doing seva and I am nothing. And Brahmachari speaking, Maharaj, you are also Tyagi. Are I am Tyagi? Uh, no, 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 no. How I can be Tyagi? No, no, no. Yes, you are Tyagi. I will definitely prove that. How you can prove that, that I am Tyagi? I am not at all Tyagi. Are that you are big Tyagi than us also. How? That that we are actually just normal material things we have just left and just come in the temple. That topmost Vishay, that Bhagwan, you already have left that only. 
that you are the most top most yagi you are just uh, showing show of your like show bottle is doing dandavada to bhagwan and is not at all speaking anything after that just by his, like show bottle so that whole uh, people can speak that he is a very nice devotee bhagat ji otherwise all are mayavadi or nothing is there and no vichar is there inside them that bhakti bhagwan and there is no vichar of bhakt bhagwan at all inside them so what to speak the mayavadi are the topmost uh, tyagi mayavadi are the topmost tyagi why because they also have just left bhagwan also what to speak of them that you have just left bhagwan that whatever kind of the main origin of all you have just left him only you are topmost tyagi ha you are a big tyagi so bhagwan shri krishna slowly steadily making this vichar and speaking to us that that this that atma vishayak vastu that kind of thinking power you should not apply at all why because param just like paramatma jivatma is also nitya there is no doubt about that at all there are 23 kind of elements on this material world that about water i have told already there is water but there is no water at all in the desert so like this vichar karke if we are making this vichar then aisa this subah mein surj in the morning time purva disha mein that uh, is in the west direction if you can go to the ocean in puri there also you can see that in the morning time that at the time of sunrise very very beautiful it is just by seeing and it looks like that is from inside the water it is actually coming that sun it is not that it is coming from inside the water the sun and uh, at the time of uh, sunset also it looks like that it is going inside water but it doesn't mean that every day that sunrise is actually getting birth every morning and at that night time actually sun is dying it's not like that every day there is new sun is actually getting produced and uh, and the night time that sun is getting killed it's not like that it's foolish conception so this same atma is not at all this material body if it is actually coming then he is my son and he is my brother he is my father he is my wife like that and he is my wife and when she is actually leaving the body then uh, up till what point you can uh, get you can you can uh, watch her when he just left the body in her mathru there is one chote rao very nice sadhu he is here actually he is actually uh, not at all uh, Um, he used to stay in Bhuteshwar, in Krishna Balram Mandir, and uh, his Guru Dev is also from Gaudiya Math. And uh, from twenty to twenty-five years back, he used to stay. His name was Aranya Maharaj. And one day, Aranya Maharaj, a lot of time before that, uh, at that time, Mathura was very much uh, very alone place, and he used to do uh, Hari Nam at one place there. Bhuteshwar, Bhuteshwar. Uh, in front of bhuteshwar only and this foolish is just coming uh, here and has just came there at that point and just by seeing that vaishnav is being dandavat and maharaj also given him full kripa blessing maharaj also just by seeing his uh, situation actually he hasn't taken any prasadam and he is actually ill also and maharaj speaking that you do one thing where you want to go you just stay here only where to go just stay with me only and he think speaking that maharaj here actually where i i can get peacefulness uh, yes definitely you will get peacefulness here only this is the actual peaceful place okay definitely i will stay here after that uh, staying two days where is my peace it means that he is speaking that in the uh, in the childhood he already got uh, married he is uh, he is actually married in etawa and his wife is actually ke- got killed maybe in 13 14 years he is getting uh, and maybe her wife is just 8 years uh, old so like that in the previous and her name is actually shanti she actually got uh, death already killed and he has become totally mad and all from where actually he's gone from his house and up till that he just went to mathura 
and in mathura in front of bhuteshwar he has just saw maharaj ji there and he has saw his situation and thinking and the doctor was also there and maharaj actually have know this uh, situation that he just give him medication also and maharaj speaking that you stay here where you will go that uh, i will get shanti yes yes you will get peacefulness he thought that uh, my uh, her wife he, she she will get here and maharaj speaking that he will get peace <laughs> so you see so very nice you see after that his lo he has given his life fully onto his lotus feet and still now he is actually alive or not i don't know because i have not gone from so long so this is the point so so the people what kind of uh, misconception that misconception they are uh, having in order to uh, remove that completely that is important every day new sun it is not at all possible it's a rising no that same sun is there only no new sun is arising and it is not at all killed in the evening time that same object but it is actually uh, one kind of covering on to our uh, eyes that's it that's why we can't have the actual darshan that in one khand mein one one black cloud is there that he is actually just covering the sun or maybe he is covering my eyes you tell me that sahi uh, sun is not at there sun is actually getting covered like in the kurukshetra battlefield you know na krishna by the actual wish of krishna what happened immediately that whole cloud is actually coming and everyone thinking that uh, the night time has gone and at that time the, he has taken the arrow and just killed him are after that he seeing that sun is got risen and that it is all by the kripa of bhagwan it means that it is not at all possible to hide the sun by the clouds that you will be just uh, hiding the uh, sun by clouds it is not at all possible what is the actual volume of sun you tell me that you see the measurement of sun you will become mad by seeing that <laughs> that actual point is that that one kind of cloud it is just making one kind of curtain on my eyes and it looks as if sun is actually killed it's not like that sun can never be killed the actual point is not like that only it is not the actual point so like this if you are making this vichar then that nitya transcendental that transcendental tattva vastu that adya gyan tattva absolute truth is all the time present in trans but we cannot see that that we can it is not shown to us why because there is one kind of curtain of maya on our eyes that's it because of that we cannot see when that kind of curtain of maya by the kripa of gurudev when guruvar it is gone then all kind of uh, everything we can see as it is what what not can be seen you tell me so like this which are slowly steadily you just need to understand that you see how in shruti also it is written that parmatma jivatma is actually having that uh, transcendental uh, difference and uh, non difference jeev is anu chaitanya and uh, ishwar is vibhu chaitanya jeev is amritatva ko prapt that uh, he can get that nectarian tatva topmost absolute tatva that jiva he can attain it is not at all possible for jiva that he cannot obtain that nectarian tatva he is anu chaitanya so definitely he can get that uh, topmost nectar that absolute truth and vibhu chaitanya bhagwan is there qualitatively if you see the if you make a qualitative uh, uh, comparison then the chetan vastu ja chitkan the jivas what are they that bhagwan they are the actually the vibhu chaitanya of krishna it is qualitatively if you just make a division it's all one and the same but only difference is that that he is actually weak very small inside there is no chit bal is there that chit bal is actually very less in the jivas that because of this lack of chit bal the jivas are very weak any how the actual covering of maya onto the jiva the effect of maya can definitely be there on the jivas the jivas can get controlled by maya definitely there is a possibility definite possibility they will get uh, be contro- they will get controlled by maya because their chit bal is very weak and we are actually doing kirtan hey prabhu that oh prabhu that you give me kripa by giving chit bal from where you will get chit bal you tell me what do you mean by chit bal you tell me ha huh? chit bal what do you mean by chit bal 
चितबल मीन्स वॉट डू यू मीन बाई चितबल दैट इट मीन्स कृपा द एक्चुअल कृपा ऑफ गुरु वैष्णव चितबल मीन्स दैट भक्ति दैट काइंड ऑफ क्वालिफिकेशन एंड पावर वॉट इज गिवन बाई प्योर गुरु वैष्णव इन जीवास पोटेंसी इज देयर ऑफ डूइंग भक्ति बट दैट इज सो वीक सो वीक दैट इवन ऑन ऑन देयर ओन इट इज नॉट ऑल पॉसिबल फॉर दैम टू गेट इन टू सेवा ऑफ कृष्णा बाय प्योर गुरु वैष्णव कृपा ओनली इट इज पॉसिबल टू गेट एंगेज इन सेवा एक्चुअल सेवा ऑफ भगवान एनी हाउ विद इज ओन पावर इज डूइंग भक्ति मे बी इट इज पॉसिबल दैट इज प्रीवियस सुकृति दैट गुरुदेव ही हैज गॉट एंड ही हैज डन भजन बट मे बी सम स्लाइट प्रॉब्लम हैज कम बिकॉज ऑफ दैट इन साइड हिम दैट काइंड ऑफ इफेक्ट यू कैन सी दैट महाराज ही हैजन टेकन दीक्षा बट सो मच नाइस भाव इज देन इन साइड इज हार्ट that can be possible that possibility is there like the case of pralad maharaj externally there is no diksha done for pralad maharaj externally but inside you see the tatva that naraji maharaj in front of him in the in the womb of a mother at that time he that he actually started hearing the upadesh instruction of bhagavat tatva from naraji maharaj that is actually diksha when sandhya markava is actually going that when what kind of instruction prahlad maharaj has taken actual instruction is that bhagavat tatva is already done by narad maharaj when he is in the womb prahlad maharaj so if you see like that then that jivatma what is there that it is anu chaitanya and bhagwan is vibhu chaitanya but qualitatively that by qual qualitative it is one and the same that kind of according to the qualities and characters is all the same that uh, chitbal without the kripa of pure guru vaishnav is not at all possible to achieve without the kripa of pure guru vaishnav you cannot get chitbal at all chitbal means that our constitutional position that actual constitutional position of the jiva it's already written that for infinity time we are actually the nitya das of krishna but uh, if why we are if they have actually servant of krishna then why we are not serving krishna that's the question coming that if you are servant of krishna you should do seva no that is actually maharaj very difficult to do he is we are our servant but still we cannot serve why because it's we already have heard but we are not all doing seva what is the reason that is actually fine the actual vichar is there is that that is not uh, false that is definitely true but inside that that kind of realization of the dasyata he actually has just lost it that is the same reason why that from the father that uh, son is actually getting uh, separated but when he just went to one kind of um, of uh, function there actually there is no son and father just came back to his house and who actually taken his son nobody knows he just started crying in full distress and sorrow it doesn't means by this that father and son is actually getting separated completely it doesn't mean like that that father and son that kind of relationship uh, that sambandh gyan that knowledge of the relationship of the father and the son is actually will be destroyed that kind of fathership in that father and sonship in that son from where it can come and he is my he was my son and now he is actually is uh, gone somewhere this kind of relationship will not at all go at all because he separated for uh, from his son uh, for a few time for a few moment but that relationship of the father with the son how you can break that you tell me so after that maybe 20 years after that i'll give you one example from the bhagavatam as well so that you can understand that pradyumna ji that someone has taken pradyumna ji and when he become very old and grown up after that that mayavati she has taken pradyumna ji to the dwarka and whatever all the mother of uh, a mother and uh, he is actually krishna only like that but no 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 he is not krishna how actually vatsalya bhav is coming uh, by seeing pradyumna that rukmani nandan he is there is a lot of reasons lot of leela regarding this that pradyumna is bhagwan himself but how one can kidnap him so this is also actually one kind of leela of yog maya of bhagwan this is one kind of magic of yog maya so i want to speak here the act that even 20 years after that the sun is coming back 
so that kind of uh, kidnapped son that the relationship will get broken huh? it the uh, relationship will get broken no not at all that the kind of relationship of father and son is there but the son is actually lost so it doesn't mean that relationship will be lost completely so inside jeevas they actually not at all remembering that i am the actual nitya sevak of bhagwan that kind of dasat or eternal servantship of the jeevas that is actually in hidden form definitely he is das that potency is there but he actually forgot that kind of relationship in order to understand who is actually making that understand that sambandh gyan data gurudev he is the actual uh, giving us the actual lower of uh, that relationship that same gurudev is there who is at the time of diksha by the by diksha procedure he want to tell us that you see that this is your only work to do krishna seva that's it that sambandh gyan that he will be just imbibing into you and that divya gyan by his kripa that chitbal will just get transformed transferred into you by gurudev and pure guru vaishnav and after that that power will be coming to you to do seva in bonded jeevas that kind of seva is by a kind of power is impossible to get if bonded jeev is slightly separate from gurudev then he will be just getting enjoyment in maya kartik month i will be getting separate in maharaj okay you can stay what kind of enjoyment you will get you see all foolishness you see those who are actually siddh mahatma inside them all the time seva is actually going on all the time seva is going on non stop seva mood is there that uh, there is no kind of resting mood at all maybe 2 to 3 hours taking rest also they are actually feeling very very sorry oh why i have taken 3 hours rest in this situation that kind of situation only that is that in in just by staying in the nirjan sthan he has that eligibility but still he is actually all the time there in hari katha kirtan with all devotees and whole day he is doing seva no time is there thousand of questions is coming from foreign country just by speaking to him and just giving him all prema where actually is our time even if i give uh, shila bhakti dev madhav goswami marad on to lotus uh, infinity dand was on to his lotus feet that how he used to give answer to the letters even maharaj don't have the time to sleep also that our sagar maharaj also has just gone to the nitya leela but he used to love me a lot shila bharti maharaj shila sagar maharaj that is my actual luck that one time sagar maharaj at very night time maybe 2 to 2:33 o'clock shila bhakti dev madhav goswami maharaj that in yog peet like in kalkana mat or somewhere i can't remember which mat and he speaking that maharaj ji why actually haven't slept up till now maharaj speaking that so much letters have come that i have to give the answers to their questions what i am doing the work of an acharya and if i do the work of lagu it's not at all good so that's why i have to give the answers of the questions when to give them all the time there is actually busyness and busyness from here then there now do this now do that all the time it is going on now actually i'm thinking that maybe i can give the answer to their question maybe i can I cannot sleep today but still i have to give their que- answers sagar maharaj speaking that so much top post mahapurush bhakti mo puri go swami oh my god whole night actually is writing <coughs> no time to sleep also whole night is writing are mara not sleeping i ah, no no i will sleep now I, i'm uh, still uh, just uh, it's gone my whole writing will get completed tomorrow i have to give it in press so i that's why i haven't taken rest so for them it is possible that all the actual uh, symptom of the paramans vaishnav that all the time that there, there is no tiredness word called tiredness at all no tiredness is there in them all the time they are actually busy in seva krishna seva and bonded jeevas if they will be imitating then they will die that's it they cannot imitate them so guru vaishnav just to get their kripa that is actually called chitbal when we can get the actual kripa of pure guru vaishnav when we'll be just understanding what is bhakti we have got diksha slowly steadily that he has just shown acharan slowly steadily he is getting and chitbal is not that very easily by millions of years you have and you can get in the market that chitbal not at all possible sambandh 
that is sambandha gyan i'll be just uh, giving you a remembrance that pure guru vishnu that what they have actually lost that for infinity time they don't have any kind of uh, they have forgetfulness towards uh, the servantship of bhagwan all the time this sansar etc he is actually we are getting very much pain that our arjun ji maharaj also is actually in this situation that he can't understand what to do what to do and what not to do he is not at all getting into consideration consideration he is speaking at one point that he is sharanagat and again he is speaking that i will not be participating in the battlefield are you are sharanagat and you are already getting submitted onto my lotus feet then definitely that you what is called yours there is nothing called yours as all submissions mean what gurudev is speaking speaking and now you are actually getting sharnagat and now you are speaking that i will not be fighting what kind of vichar it is that you just uh, tell me and now in the second shlok actually it is written that first shloka may some vichar more is there that may be bhagwan actually speaking a oh sakha oh friend arjun that if i'll be giving putting you one question in front of you that uh, that uh, that you are my very nice and dear friend that your priti patra that kind of uh, uh, darshan of their death of your friends and relatives you are feeling very sorrowful by killing them you are speaking like this no that kind of priti whether it is atma or its body you tell me the shlok which i have already told several days back this i have already told no that for atma that with one another that kind of relationship and priti seva whatever you are doing so if atma is not at all there then nothing can be stay there at all <coughs> me if atma is your actually like in the seventh canto is it it is written that hiranyakeshipu in shrimad bhagavatam that hiranyakeshipu mata ji his mother and his uh, daughter son in law everyone is actually speaking one nice vichar and in that that kind of sorrowful heart that by that shastra vachan he is giving one kind of he want to uh, destroy their unhappiness and sorrow that's why our keshav goswami used to speak and propad also used to speak this that all asuras and devils also they can just take the vichar of shastras and they can quote but just by taking that shastras vichar they are actually making their own advantage they are actually taking the shastra vichar they are just seeing their own advantage they are seeing their own profit and loss here hiranyakeshpu what kind of vichar is making that uh, that ushinar uh, country uh, king is actually getting killed and uh, her women and whatever kind of queens are actually all uh, crying you just save us you just save us like that and at that time yamraji maharaj in a very small child just came in front of those women and just speaking or and uh, just by taking the body all the women are just crying by taking his body where oh where the king has gone you just come back this whole uh, country is actually getting uh, empty i also want to die if you are gone then how we can stay you just uh, get up get up oh swami you please get up like this all the women or uh, the queens are crying of that king and yamraj ji maharaj in a small child in the form of small child came in front of them or and he started speaking aisa kaisa how actually it is possible he is actually all grown up and you are actually i am a small child i am actually no support is there but still i am not at all crying why they are crying actually he is asking yamraj ji maharaj 
to all the queens actually speaking the what they are speaking what he is speaking actually and if the child actually speaking why you actually are crying what is the reason of crying that our uh, that our husband that our king that is the, the king of this uh, country without how without king we can live there is no support of us he has already gone from this material world king is actually there for what purpose you are uh, crying that for king i am who is king you with this atma is the king or body is the king you tell me that uh, your king is there you just take it king is actually is in front of you na you just take that you are actually crying for him you just take him and take him in the house no 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 king is actually uh, king has gone who is king actually then the king is uh, body or king is atma are maharaj okay so that uh, the king is uh, that atma that you have seen that atma you already have seen the body of uh, that king that's it we haven't seen the atma of that king up till this point so you have seen the body of the king not the king himself but uh, that uh, king who is that atma who already have gone just by leaving his body that have you seen that atma no 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 if you haven't seen then why you are crying so that's the reason that you don't uh, you don't know his uh, identity at all that just by seeing uh, him as a king that you can take his body to the house if you have this kind of intelligence and what is uh, the use of this body so have this vichar in your mind that when you have seen that atma that you are actually crying that you are actually crying for so much you should show me that uh, he said that i haven't seen so just by making this kind of tark vichar yamraj ji maharaj just like a child they he has just came in front of them and just speaking the actual vichar atma tatva and they started stop stop crying and for the last rites of the king they have just made the need uh, needful duties for that the for last rites of the king so like this atma bahare drashtab satabhyo nidhi dhyasitabhyo this you never need to forget that if you are for if you will forget this that then if maya devi will just take you if uh, everything respect or something someone has taken from you away still just by don't go for crying and all don't get distressed make this vichar that i am this atma vastu which i haven't seen in myself so for what purpose i am crying actually in this material world whatever kind of jeevatma you just need to uh, separate it all kingship and treasure but atma will not be there you take it away from this whole material so what is the use of this material world you tell me what is the use of this material world you tell me you tell me what will be the use of this material world no use of this material world at all if atma is not at all there so atma is one, also one kind of decoration if atma is not there then no kind of uh, you don't there is no cost of the diamond as well maybe it is the value of 80 crore rupees you have but you are speaking but if atma vastu is not out there then how what is the value of that diamond or jewel you tell me what is the use of that you tell me if atma is there then only it is useful just for atma that one jeev is actually getting attached to the other jeeva doing prema and having that kind of relationship with other jeeva whatever he is doing with the other jeeva that whatever enmity or love if atma is there only then he is doing if no atma is then how he can do so atma was to in order to understand that bhagwan shri krishna is speaking to arjun that uh, what is that atma vastu in order to understand that completely bhagwan bhag shri krishna speaking and trying a lot that arjun what is the point that what kind of point this with some value is there of that what you are speaking what is the actual use of that you tell me ya tu na sam na tvam neme jana jana dipa na chaivo na bhavishyamah sarve bhayamatah param this which are actually is been told and in the second shlok now actually speaking that you see bhagwan sri krishna bhagwan sri krishna speaking dehine asmin yatha dehe kumaram jovanam jara tatha dehantara praptir dhirah tatra namayanti namujhati 
नॉट भवंती इट्स नॉट बहुवचन सिंगुलर वैष्णव There is no one who has that that kind of stable uh, mind at all. Only a pure devotee of Krishna, pure Guru Vaishnav, that kind of uh, <coughs> intelligence. That with that, what we can do with that kind of uh, intelligence? It is very much uh, difficult to get that in the actual vichar. But when ba- actually Bhagwan speaking, that this material body inside it, like. Uh, Like in the childhood, also we have just heard one point. Slowly, steadily, in Poganda, and after Komar, and after that, uh, in uh, uh, younghood, and uh, in old age, and last we will be just going into the old age and will die. So this is the actual uh, history. You see that Bhagwan. He is actually giving yukti to Arjun. That you see, that uh, like uh, the body, like in the body, he has just got birth. After he just got nourished, and after that he has become grown up, and again in pogand, and then he has got into koma ardasha, and again that he is going into the old age. As definitely this body is changeable. Yes. So exactly like that. Only why can't you understand? You can't understand why. Like in the same manner, like in the same manner, when when old age has come, then what you we will you are doing at that point? Then no kind of young age is young age is gone already. So in like how actually it is getting changed? Then in old age, slowly, steadily, you will be just going into the lap of death. The person. And exactly like that only like uh, from one body he is actually changing and getting into the other body that the stable person he will not at all uh, will not at all get uh, uh, getting any kind of attachment towards that that uh, the stable person dhir person will not at all get attached to this at all dhir is also one kind of definition is there of dhir person Every person cannot become stable or dhir. Those whose mind is actually getting totally stabled by Kripa of Pure Guru Vaishnav, like that day I was telling you the shloka, no? Like that day I have already told you that shloka. Up till on to the lotus feet of Krishna, you are not at all getting the top most seva mood. That kind of stable mind and intelligence cannot. Come at all. He cannot become stable. All the time, unstableness and un- unstable bhav will be there inside them. So, like this, this which are we have already done. That definitely, like in this material body, at the, just to take birth and after that, slowly, steadily. that our body is getting matured and after getting maturity in our body from the childhood still so slowly steadily we are growing up and from the childhood at the time of at the stage of pogand and from pogand slowly steadily we have just came up to the komar stage and yovan and after yovan that old old age will come and slowly steadily when we are getting transformed exactly in the same manner that the material body just by leaving one body the jivatma is just taking the other body he will be taking that so in this what kind of uh, loss is there you tell me what kind of thing you are actually making uh, loss feeling loss for that nothing is there of having a loss so this kind of which are maharaj this uh, in the second canto 
that second chapter that if you can understand it completely that from the that from the second up till that second uh, adhyay if you can understand completely then in um, in this life that kind of distress and sorrow cannot uh, catch you at all nothing is there full agyan it will totally get vanquished but if someone can hear then only it is possible no? nobody is there to uh, hear from inside so like this bhagwan shri krishna actually speaking to arjun he is making this vichar and make just giving him this understanding that you are actually agyani that you are doing such kind of thing because who will not die nobody will die this word that one very old woman she is also only one uh, son he is having and after he, she he is actually dead and after that uh, after his dad is becoming totally mad and in both gaya actually she is going he is not our bhagwan buddha this is sakya buddha there in both gaya that is the the kikat country buddha is different then kapil dev are also two that our kapil maharaj is different and another kapil is different and that other kapil is in treta yug that agni mukhya that that kapil is there and kapil ji maharaj that bhagwan is different so to kap so now buddha gaya mein in buddha gaya everyone knows that uh, that uh, at, he is actually doing bhajan uh, at under under the tree beneath the tree and he is just going to die and they are actually what happened he is asking that my boy is actually going to die and you can you give your life that you have that power i know can you give that power so that you can uh, he is become supportless nobody is there only you are my support then boji is speaking that you do one thing that maya mother that in which uh, house that there is no kind of uh, thing called death from there one house you take some you take some mustard uh, you take some mustard seed from there from where no word called death is there and uh, after this he just uh, asked that uh, woman and woman just gone on village every village and town and city she has gone even one single house she hasn't find where that kind of word death and distress or sorrow is not at all there and just by taking of the mustard seed she cannot take and when she came back she started crying and speaking and why you are actually speaking uh, crying that this material world is like this only you see this material world is actually mritya jagat that mritya jagat this material world is uh, no uh, house will be there that this word called death and distress and sorrow is not at all there so you have taken that mustard seed from that house no i haven't taken that woman so this is the case what you can do now you just stop it this material world this is the actual rules and regulation someone will stay or someone will go this is the same case like that like we are in just one kind of train we are in that whosoever station is coming there then he need to just uh, move on to that station he has to seen drop there means like one drama is going on he is uh, seen is to getting drop now he has to get out from that drama in the same manner that which are just you have to make in your mind and tomorrow i'll be just speaking another which are mittur janma batam viro dehin sahayate addo babd satante va mittur vai praninam dhruva banchakalpa dhruvasya kepa sindhu bhavaj patitanam pavana bhavishna bhjor